I look to the enemies that I've killed, I would get a clue. <laughs> Hello everyone, and welcome once again to Deadhead Fred. Where I am dead, I'm Fred, and I'm missing my head. See what I did there? Let's see what we have to do next. If you bring me one pearl necklace, I will give you $700. Okay. That's not really part of the mission. That's not really part of the main story, but, uh, okay. Notebook. Collect the evidence once more under the brooch running shine glass keys. Huh. Then he saved. Finders keepers. Collect the evidence. Daddy's body is downtown at the Morago, right? You need a way to get in so you can examine it and find out what really happened to him. Gene Rossini, the lounge in the Bongo Club. Find Vinny Rossini's body at the morgue. Right, downtown. Okay, got it. Oh, uh, by the way, I have a confession to make. I look different than you remember because I actually look like this. So, yeah. Gotta rip that band-aid off. Of course, she's gonna act like she never saw this, but, you know. I mean, I'd prefer to rip the band-aid off, if I'm being honest. He lost his head. Wait a minute. I was about to say. I have to leave the way I came, don't I? Real shame, but at least I don't have to really do anything. I just have to go past here. And avoid getting set on fire. Shouldn't be a problem, right? Ah! Yeah, shouldn't be a problem, all right. You gotta love it when I tempt fate. That seems to be what I do best. I do love the aesthetic. I mentioned that before, but it's like the Incredibles. Kind of funny stuff. Oh well, time to leave. Hey, buddy. Um, I want to buy something. Try one of the house specialties, fuzzy navel. Fuzzy handcuffs and a battleship figurine. You receive fuzzy navel shot. Bearded clam, rusty trombone. Montezuma's revenge. One headhunter mask, two half a cup of toilet water. Luckily, I've got that. Bearded clam. Clam and a uh, fake beard. Neat. One eyed monster, a glass eye, a monocle, and a bone. Rusty trombone. I got a lot of ingredients. Oh, okay. Let's say. I don't have everything. Oh well, time to leave. I was done here anyway. Checkpoint reached. Well, isn't that nice? And I didn't ask, but that's nice. Oh right, this is the bathroom. Not gonna find anything in here. It's not like Fred has to take a leak or anything. He never does. Maybe it has something to do with his undead state. His body's probably a little decayed and dead. It's like other characters, you know, like Michael Afton or Bucciarati. Bruno Bucciarati, rather. They're still technically tethered to their bodies, their souls are, but their bodies are still kind of dead. I mean, look at him. Even if he had his head, he wouldn't be able to live a normal life, or at least it would be a little difficult. Look at his hands. He's clearly decayed. How would he even live a normal life, even if he had a head? I mean, I guess stopping Pit is a goal that's worthy of investigation, but it's not like he's going to be himself again. Let's be real. Where's downtown? Oh, it's right here. Oh. Oh, I did not... I didn't unlock downtown. Luckily, I can at least get closer to downtown, maybe? Not. Don't know why I came here. I need to get downtown. Wherever the hell that is. I'm going the wrong way, too. I need to go into the actual town, Cheap Street. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Old Hope Falls. Falls Swank Drive. I don't need to go there, I don't think. Zombie Town, right? That just takes you further in. Let's go. All right. That just takes you down somewhere that probably isn't where I need to go. So I'm just gonna keep randomly unlocking the frame rate so I can try to get places faster uptown. <laughs> well, I guess you gotta go up to go down. 
Get down, get down. There's downtown. You know, for being downtown, it doesn't look too bad. Downtown Hope Falls. This place has definitely seen better days. Okay, fair point. But compared to where we just were, oh, pitting. Pitt's headquarters are right across the corner. Real shame. Ah, there are regular people here. To Pitt Inc. parking lot. I probably don't want to go there yet. There's the morgue right here. Probably a lot of spoopy characters in here. I'd better be prepared for a fight. Fight me, Pilgrim! Can I help? Holy crap! You look worse than some of the stiffs they bring in here. Wow. What exactly would you say you do around here, besides give out beauty tips? Me? I'm just the attendant. I check in the stiffs. Tag them and bag them. You don't look much better. Hey, slip me a couple of simoleons and uh, I'll let you see who they brought in today. Some really cool shit, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. I'll just bet it is. I'll tell you what. I'll keep that in mind if I ever get the overwhelming urge to spend some time with a stiff. Besides Whatever. you. <laughs> anyway, I'm busy right now, so if you don't have any official business, you need to leave. Buddy, I'm gonna go wherever the hell I want. You can suck it. The door's locked, of course. He's gonna require me to spend money with him. Corpse bride. I'm not supposed to do this, but if you slip me $100, I'll make sure you get some alone time with the corpses. To get my meaning. That's sick, man. Okay. All right, cool. But uh, you can't stay back there too long in case somebody comes in. I guess it's a hundred bucks to get a lead on my oh, man. Oh, and hey, those top draws won't hold the weight of you and the body at the same time, especially if you get uh, enthusiastic. Believe me, my friend. I speak from experience. You're a sick uh, bastard. Uh, I bet you do. <laughs> You're almost worse than Pitt. Seriously. You're one sick mother fricker, aren't you? I'm just here on official business. Although, now that you mention it, I'm curious to see what these stiffs look like. Oh, right. How do I... Where's the button that allows me to see in first person? All oh, right, it's up. Well, then that guy has been beheaded. That guy's been beheaded too. Don't tell me, beheaded. Nope, just too hideous to show. Touche. I take it Pitt's been beheading a lot of people where there's a will. Damn that Pitt, he killed me before I could fire my will. File my will, now my poor nephew, Friedrich Steiner, will never get the stuff I left him. All my head replacement theories lost. Could you perhaps go to our family's castle? Find my will and give it to my nephew? Neat. Okay then. Didn't expect to get a mission from some from one of these corpses. But hey, whatever works. You have two out of six for mission glass keys. Neat. Okay, let's see where her father is. Is this the one? He bought the farm. Curse those freak farmers! That cow they sold me exploded and killed me and my friend. They moved. His body to, out to the cemetery near the Freak Farms. He had a mutant rooster egg on him when the world went kaboom. If you can find him, it's yours. Dead farmer. I accept. I accept all your missions. That doesn't mean I'm actually gonna do them. It just means I accept them. I accept that I might do them eventually. Is this the guy? Locket Man. What's that, Sonny boy? You say you need some money? You seem like a nice boy, so I'll let you in on a secret. There's a precious golden lock in my broken down old house in Zombie Town. If you can find it, bring it back to me. Dead Mrs. Mesler, City Morgue. Okay. That's... Okay, fair enough. Oh, crap. Oh, come on. Okay. Yeah, I just had to switch out my heads. Now that I'm back here, undisturbed, relatively speaking. What the hell? Huh. Okay, why is there that exclamation mark? Does that mean I need to come back? I need to be someone else for this? Oh, the head is right there. Huh. Interesting. Why do I get the feeling that Pitt has killed most of these people? 
Or at least he's had a hand in the ones that are missing their heads. This makes sense, doesn't it? Oh, there's another head right there. Okay, he bought the farm. Where's her freaking father at? Actually, I get the feeling I'm supposed to climb up these. I guess that makes sense. Sort of. Come on. I don't know how I'm supposed to get up there, though. It's not like I can jump and then do a jumping open. No, sir. There's something here. Oh. So, Vinny Rossini. We meet at last. My bad. Hmm. Okay, Rossini, here I am. What is so important we can't talk about it in your office, instead of out in the middle of nowhere? Look, Pete, I've gone straight now. It's not like I was a-holding out on you or nothing. I just wanted to live in peace. What? You ain't at peace? Pete, Ulysses, there's nothing for you here. No piece of the action. No action to have a piece of. What is it exactly you're trying to tell me, Benny? Why don't you spell it out for me? I'm not that bright. Please, enlighten me. What I'm telling you is that you are not gonna get your hooks into this town. Hope Falls isn't much of a place, but it's a my place. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna let some two-bit couple from the old neighborhood piss all over it. Two-bit couple? Two-bit! I got news for you, Rossini. When you retired to the boonies, you gave up the right to talk down to me. You can't tell me what I can have and what I can't have. You ain't the goddamn boss no more, Vinny! For old time's sake, I'm gonna give you one more chance. You and me, we can work together and make this pissant little town into a paradise. Or you can turn your back on my friendship, and you can take whatever fate sends your way. So, what'll it be? Partners or not? Go to hell, Pit. Pretty much what I expected. See you around. All right, let me grab that piece of shit and bring him along. Eddie, get the gasoline from the car. We need something that looks like crop circles, like some alien spaceship landed and burned the field or something. God damn. Feeney. I remember now. Those bastards murdered you in cold blood. And I was there. I videotaped the whole damn thing. The tape must still be out there somewhere. I gotta get my hands on it before somebody else does. Huh. We got video evidence, huh? Interesting. How interesting. Too bad that didn't give us a look at Fred's actual face, but I'm sure that's gonna be later. Probably much later. Where is the video? There's a will, okay. Um, lock it, man. Collect the evidence. Running shine. Okay, return to pit. PI office and search for clues. Okay, cool. No problem, I can do that. Who said I couldn't? You? <laughs> you don't know me, pal. You don't know me whatsoever. Well, let's do this thing. Now, as soon as I can find a teleporter, I know one's over here. Quit freaking out. I'm just a regular guy with a brain in a jar for a head. Quit hassling me. Pal, Fred's office. Cool, okay. Where are the clues at? You wanna change your clothes? Nah, I like the way I look right now. What's more into the brooch? Is this when I can, a okay, this is when I can actually do it. Dateline, Hope Falls, New Jersey. The citizens of the small town of Hope Falls, New Jersey remain in shock today after the announcement that town benefactor, Vinnie Rossini, disappeared yesterday without a trace. 
sources close to Rossini say that the octogenarian left yesterday morning for a meeting with former associate and longtime friend Ulysses Pitt, who recently moved his corporation and extensive holdings to the town of Hope Falls. Mr. Pitt, who we interviewed earlier today, was obviously distraught at this turn of events. Yeah, I was pretty f broke up when I heard he was going to meet me to discuss the future of the town yesterday, but he never showed. Annoyed the shit out of me at first. Then I heard he was gone, and I went to fucking pieces. Authorities investigated the farmland outside of Hope Falls, where Rossini was last seen. Strange scorched areas and markings were found at the site. Although some theories have been proposed, no conclusion has yet been reached. Alien, Sergeant! I'm telling you, I've seen it all before! The markings are clearly Martian in origin! Or maybe Rogelian! Marshal, why don't you get back to your pawn shop and leave me in peace? You know you're not supposed to be here. It's a crime scene! It's an abduction scene is what it is! Benny Rossini was abducted by aliens! They're probing him right now! Abducted! Abducted! Come on now, Marshal. Will you turn that damn thing off? Whatever the cause of his disappearance, the town of Hope Falls remains stunned by this unexpected turn of events. Jeannie Rossini, daughter of the missing man, has vowed to get to the bottom of this mystery, whatever it takes. Benny! Jeffred? Ha! Jeez, somebody's jumpy today. What do you what do you know about this file? This newsreel thing? That? All I know is that you was obsessed with it, that's all. Watched it two, three times a day before you... Well, you know. That house. The one where the cop and the UFO nut are talking. Do you know where that is? Gee, Fred, your brains are Swiss cheese, aren't they? You really don't know? Benny, why the hell would I ask you where it is if I already knew? Now are you gonna tell me, or are you just gonna stand there like a fucking stump? Do I look like I have nothing to do? Fred, man, that's your house. You bought a little place out by all them freak farms, not long after we blew into town. How can you not remember your own house? I wish I knew, pal. I wish I knew. You know what, Fred? You ought to go out there. You know, take a look around. Maybe you'll see something that'll jog your noggin. Yeah, you're right. I need to find that house and see how it figures into this whole twisted mess. Yeah, mate. Fred's keychain, checkpoint reach. Anywho. I'd best get a move on, then. Where's that freaky farm? Zombie town, downtown, boonies, freak farms. Okay, so it's probably closest to downtown. Oh well, once I get out of his sight, there's no reason for me... Okay, he already switched anyway. Awesome. We're on the same page, you and I, Fred. I'm glad. Ah! Out of my way, rooster boy. I'm on my way to the farm. But I'm not here to buy the farm. I'm here to kick some eggs. I'm gonna make them buy the farm. I'm gonna charge them double. What the hell? What is this? Under construction. The casino. Huh. Looks like Olmec. Oh, I'm moving on. Freak Farms, right here. Here I am. Middle of friggin' nowhere, looking for a house that I don't even remember owning. Benny seems like a good guy, but I think it might be the booze talking when he says I lived out this way. Somehow, when I look in the mirror, I don't strike myself as the farming type. Admittedly, I'm still hazy on the finer points of the law. I don't think memories from severed heads are admissible in court, but videotapes are. There wasn't a videotape in the office, though, so if it exists, it must be at my old place. Sam Spade, I presume? How did you know? Well, it ain't like people are lining up to call me here lately. What's up? New headhunting opportunity? Precisely. You see, there are scarecrows out there that have very unique characteristics. <laughs> Ones that could be very beneficial to you. Yeah, 
But if they only had a brain. Sorry? Never mind. If I run across them, I'll grab five of their straw noggins and bring them into the head shop. Later. Luckily, you've got a brain, so... Works for everybody, doesn't it? They need a brain and you need a head when you say me. What the what hell? What the... What just happened? Did they just explode? Or did the cow explode? No! Uh -oh. No! Oh, jeez. Ah, shit. Damn you. Okay. I can rip his hat off. That's one out of two. Oh, jeez. Wait, what did it what did it show me? I wanna see exactly how to counter it. Or not, I guess it doesn't matter quite as much right now. Hello, friend. Don't worry. I'm, I'm in man. your debt, mister. Um, sure. I'm surprised you're not afraid of me. Oh. I see. Hey, buddy. Don't mind me. Key to Harbor's Gate. Look, fella, I don't just let anybody go and trespass through my cornfields. You want to pass through that gate, you got to prove yourself. Tell you what, you kill that dang scarecrow that's been hanging around my nephew's tractor and get the key for my nephew. You do that, and I might just let you pass. You got that right. I was going to kill them anyway. I need to figure out what counters them the best, though. That would probably be best. For me. You know? Underground tunnels. Interesting. And where am I going to find more scarecrows at? As if I'm dying to meet them, but still. Oh, okay, that's how we leave. My bad. Come on. <laughs> Sorry, pal. You gotta understand. Okay, where's your scarecrow friend at? He's been causing you trouble. Maybe I should have actually checked. Got the farm, uh, find the corpse at the cemetery, lock it man, go to the old woman's house and zombie. Wait a minute. Freak farms, um. Hmm. Ah, cemetery. There's gonna be an egg around here somewhere in the cemetery. So that's interesting. Where's the one I was looking for, though? Run and shine? Okay, never mind. Pete Harper's Gate, this one. Nephew's tractor. Where's your nephew's tractor? I don't see it anywhere. In the world? Um, the head shop? I don't need to go to the head shop. I mean, once I get, once I kill some more of those scarecrow freaks, I will, but not right now. Maybe I gotta go into the underground tunnel. Door's locked. locked. Thanks, pal. I definitely didn't notice that. So, uh, your nephew's tractor is where? You haven't told me that, friend. Now, let's see what happens if I leave and come back. Maybe that'll respawn the scarecrows. Not that I'm in a hurry to fight them, but it would give me their heads, and I can't. It's a shame. I have no idea where I'm going either. Oh, wait, this one's open. I probably should have checked. There's a tractor. Hello. Tall, dark, and ugly. Oh, jeez. His nephew's a little dead. Now I need to figure out exactly what counters it. Oh. Ah, shit. Okay, I don't have that. Looks like some kind of zombie. Screw it. Doesn't matter. But at least I got this. I'm sorry he died. Now we're getting somewhere. You gotta get the scarecrow head before um this has to end? Guessing no. Oh well. This can't be helped, can it? 
But I do only need two more, so if I can find two more, I'll be good. Ah, crap. Okay, that was too eager. Luckily, if you were right from the get-go, it does immediately kill them. It should get them to weakened state. Well, this is stupid, I'd have it by now. But you know, it's okay. Just give me one more. Give me one more scarecrow, man. Okay. This is where they pop in from. Get back up. Maybe that didn't kill you. But this will. Scare up a scarecrow head. Excellent. I knew I'd get one in time. Now let's speed things up a little bit. Just enough so that I don't get too disorientated because unlocking the frame rate for myself makes things a little bit disorientating. Excellent. The head harvest has been good this year. Huh. You're back. I knew you'd be back. You have acquired the scarecrow head. Neat. You got the scarecrow head. Press the circle button to fire crows over a great distance. Use aim mode for precise aiming. The scarecrow head is immune to fire. While on fire, press the circle button to shoot flaming crows. Neat. Nice. Fred, I've got the power my of crows. number one customer. You have some nice items in stock, and I'm sure they would. I'm sure you need to zip it because it's time for me to have fun. Nice. Just killed a chicken for no reason. I guess I'm getting a little cocky with my powers. <laughs> Kill that cow. Thank you. This is awesome. This is so cool. I'm having fun with this for some reason. And that also didn't affect that cow, I noticed. Yeah, you gotta wait for the crows to come back. Hello? Don't mind me. I'm just here to eat your soul. But don't worry. Lol. That's actually kind of funny. Hey, buddy. I may not need your head right now, considering I've already got a head. But it's still kind of fun to kill you. Well, at least this ended on a pretty good note. I think I made more progress than I have in the other videos. We got some pretty decent developments here. I learned that that guy was killed, and that Fred was obsessed with the case, and that he had video footage of it. So he had enough to finger Pitt. Well, you know, convict. I don't know why he didn't go to the authorities with that. Maybe he didn't get the chance to. Maybe maybe it's because uh, Benny told um, Pitt where to find him because of that whole thing. Because he thought he was going to pay him off. And before he had a chance to send the video footage to any proper authorities, um, he was killed. Maybe that's why. Matt, I guess that kind of makes sense. But then why did he leave it at his house? Well, maybe for safekeeping. Maybe it was a copy. Who knows? The... Tired of the hustle and bustle? <laughs> okay. Then it's the country life for you. Okay, time to get a move on. This is quite interesting. Quite a maze, too. Quite a maze zing? No, just a maze. I can't even tell where I'm going here. I'm probably lost. Lost in the corn rows forever. Oh, wait, no. I definitely would have remembered this. Ah, man. It slunk into its hole, never to be found again. Until I leave for like two seconds. Eh. Where's this freaking house at? Never gonna find it. I'm not even bothering to fight these creatures. There's just no point. I do like the aesthetic, though. No, I can't find out where to go. Damn it. 
That sucks when they just go in like that. They don't even give you a chance to try it. Ah! Son of a bitch. Nice. There you go. Toy fire engine. Cool. I don't know where to go. Maybe if I look to the enemies that I've killed, I would get a clue. Nah. That probably wouldn't help me. Because how would I know which ones I've killed already? Well, I guess maybe the ones that don't spawn in, but that could just be their original spawn point and they left in pursuit of me. So I do not know. I'm going to be lost forever, and unfortunately I'm all out of time. I'm going to have to say that is it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like a good ear corn. And I'll see y'all next time to go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out. Have a good one. Y'all have a nice, downright pleasant day here. Well, except for these here creators right there. I hope they done burn in hell. See you later. If you enjoyed the content and want to stay up to date, I upload 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single day. You can also subscribe and hit the bell icon or just check out the end screens right here.